Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Alexandra Cranford. Thanks for joining me on this Facebook Live from the studio. I just hopped on my own Facebook page instead of WWL's Facebook page for the Facebook Live, so I'm a few minutes late joining up on this page, but what we're talking about today, since I am in the studio and not at home, um, what we're going to talk about is what we do in the studio when we get here. Actually, having not been here and working from home for a long time now, several weeks, um, I kind of have forgotten, you know, what it's like to be in the studio and I'm kind of getting used to these uh, computers that are not my home computer and things like that. So if you guys are interested in this, I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea about what we do when we are here in the studio. Of course, the reason I was in the studio today is because we had storms, um, especially last night and this morning and my shift uh, was kind of wrapping up the storms for the noon newscast and kind of finishing things um, up. So now we're dry. You can see our radar screens in the background. Um, showing the rain that has already pushed out along the coast and we're not looking for severe weather or rain really anymore at all. Um, but I thought this would be a good opportunity to just kind of show you what we do here in the studio. And actually, when I go to do school talks, a lot of students ask me a lot of questions about specific stuff in the studio and about being a meteorologist and doing weather casts on TV and things like that. So thank you for joining me for today's weather lesson. A few minutes late, hope that's okay with you guys and we will get started. So first we come into the studio and don't worry, by the way, I have tons of Lysol wipes that uh, we've been provided with, so I'm gonna wipe um, things down after I leave just in case anyone comes in after me. But here we are in the studio. This is our WWL TV uh, studio, and it's very empty right now because almost everybody is working from home, including me, of course, if you've seen my weather lessons. And I, you know, we come into the studio. Um, it depends on which shift, of course. We have the very early morning shift. We have the midday shift, which I'm working today, and the evening shifts, of course. Um, a lot of kids have questions about that. What is it like to wake up at 2 a.m. for the morning shift? Or what's it like to go to work at 2 p.m. for the evening shift? Um, and so, yeah, it's a little bit different for uh, everybody. It depends on whether you like being up early in the morning or not. So here is my little weather pod. If you guys can see, I'm gonna show you around a little bit. Here's our big bank of computers that we use. Um, often you will see um, either um, Peyton Malone or Chris Franklin or Dave Nussbaum at these computers uh, making graphics and looking at weather data and so forth. Um, this is actually where I usually work. It's actually at the pod that you see um, on air that we uh, do sometimes our little first weather hits from. Um, that's actually the computers that I use like for regular work. So this is where I am today. And um, you can see my computer graphics. You can see off in the distance, the green screen. Of course, that's where we do the weather forecast, the actual weather casts. And what we do first, what I would say is we come in and first we just look at a ton of weather data. Um, we use, you know, the knowledge we got in, um, you know, with our... Um, college degrees or university degrees, um, and we look at all sorts of surface maps, surface observations, upper air observations, um, forecast models, and all sorts of things like that and we create our forecast. And so you guys know the seven day forecast that we show on air. Well, here is my little pencil version that I made um, today. So I actually do make the seven boxes and then I look at a ton of stuff and I fill out the boxes. Um, then what we do is often start updating a lot of different things. So um, with our jobs, you know, of course we wanna get things out to people as soon as we can after we've made the forecast. Um, so we update, of course, different social media accounts. Um, we update our graphics and start creating our shows. For example, here is the tonight graphic that I was just updating about our low temperatures tonight, which are going to be nice and cool in the 50s and 60s. And then we also update, um, let's see, I'll show you our radio update where we sometimes do radio forecasts. And in this case, we would put the headset on and we would have the little micro microphone that we can um, talk to. So those would be for our WWL um, radio hits that you will hear us do and other updates on the radio um, that we have you know, either recorded or are doing live. Um, hey guys, thanks for showing me where you guys are watching from. Um, again, we look at all of our um, graphics and we'll often spend some time thinking about, you know, how to prepare a weather cast, you know, what kind of graphic we want to show on a particular day to show whatever, you know, is happening with the weather on that particular, um, you know, shift that we're working. We, let's see. 
eventually get ready for the weather cast. So for the weather cast, we would put on our microphone. Always a little tricky to figure out where to um, hang the micro microphone from. Um, unless you have a little system for that. And we have to um, put in our earpiece. So this is my earpiece that I was using earlier today, and that is so that producers can talk to us in our ear, um, which can be really confusing as a, a meteorologist, by the way, when people talk to us in our ear. It, uh, it helps us because it gives us cues about how long to keep talking and when we need to finish. Um, but sometimes um, it can um, be a little confusing to hear one thing in your ear and have to talk at the same time. That can be a little tricky, but I think you get used to it. So eventually we come over to the green screen and look, the lighting's about to super change, I think, on this Facebook Live. It gets um, extremely green over here. And so I think this is what most people think of. We have really bright lights. Um, and this would be our green screen that we do our weather cast from. So um, that is where I would do my three or four um, minutes of talking about weather and showing my graphics and so forth and then we would come back over usually to our little weather pod um, and start working on other things like updating our web um, um, our web story our web uh, stories that we're putting out online and also updating videos so that you guys can have the latest weather cast um, in the web story too um, any other questions? You guys, um, <laughs> I'm glad you guys are finding this somewhat interesting. Um, this is a day in the life of a meteorologist, really. This is what we spend our day doing. Um, when we do have a, a minute, if it's nice weather, a lot of times uh, the meteorologists in here, we've noticed that we um, tend to chit chat sometimes about especially food. We like talking about delicious New Orleans food and desserts and things like that. So sometimes we'll be working away at our little computers and piping up every now and then with some, uh, you know, little chit chat conversation like that. So that does tend to happen from time to time. And let's see, this is really it. This is our little little area where we work every day, except for now we work from our own home areas, of course. So it's a little bit different for me to be back in the studio and um, you know continue working from home for the most part for the next couple of weeks at least. So you know I got to come in today and I, we've all been in a couple of shifts um, lately when there are storms um, just to be closer to all the graphics and be you know a little bit closer to everything so that's why we were in here last night and then this morning and then this midday um, so yeah I haven't been in here in a little bit so I wanted to give you guys a look since I was kind of like oh yeah the studio someone asked about the anchor desk here's the anchor desk and what is the view from it I will show you that <laughs> This is what it looks like. I'm reading some of your comments. And so that's what the anchors see from the anchor desk. Lots of bright lights. Um, let's see, what else? Of course, teleprompters for the anchors. You guys may know that whether people um, don't have teleprompters, we are always just um, talking uh, off the top of our heads. So um, that's why we mess up sometimes, right? Um, and let's see, anything else? You guys, thank you so much for um, joining me then. Um, just wanted to give you a kind of a little lighter weather lesson today, and we will be back with more of these next week too, and I'll do some more of my sort of um, more usual lessons geared toward kids about different weather things, and we'll probably bake a little bit next week too. But today, um, since I was in the studio wrapping up the noon newscast and kind of wrapping up with all these graphics and everything in the actual studio, I thought you guys might want to see um, that. Oh, someone wants to know about the green screen. Oh, some people do ask me this. Um, how do you know what you're looking at when you are looking um, <laughs> at you know, a green screen? How do you know what's behind you? And so I will show you this big meteorologist secret, I guess. So this is the green screen behind me. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and you can see the cameras there where they see um, where you know, you would expect to see like a teleprompter in the camera. Um, what we see is the, the same image that you guys are seeing at home on the TV. So that's how we know what we're pointing to and trying to, you know, figure out whether we're pointing at Louisiana or New York or Canada or something. That's how we get the idea. Also, a little um, insider tidbit is that, okay, here I am in front of the green screen. Um, if you look to the left, there's a computer monitor that we look at and then also to the right, another computer um, 
monitor or TV monitor, um, if you can kind of see that showing up there. So that's why we sometimes turn to the sides and show that. I hope that doesn't give away too much of the magic, but I'm sure everyone knows that at this point. <laughs> so we are able to see uh, what we're pointing at and kind of get an idea whether it's good enough, um, you know, as far as where we're pointing or not and able to point out specific um, little things, spins and clouds or particular parts of a storm. So it's good for that. But again, we don't have a teleprompter. So there's no script for whether people um, and we just have to um, talk and say what we want to say uh, without without uh, writing it down or anything like that. So, um, oh, someone says there's a problem with the radar on the app. Okay, sorry about that. I'm not sure. Um, I haven't seen that, but I will um, notify our web team and we will, we will get on that hopefully and get that fixed for you. Um, thanks for letting us know there's an issue. And you guys, I guess that'll do it. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you next week. Um, I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of the week and weekend, and I will see you soon. It's going to be um, a warming trend for sure. Actually, tomorrow will be cooler, tonight will be cooler, and then we will be warming into the weekend and into early next week. So um, I hope you guys enjoy that, even though it will eventually be feeling a little more like summer. And take care. I will see you guys next week for more weather lessons. Bye.